Good morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald Morning Report is sponsored by our friends at Fusillo Kia of Cape Coral. This morning, we'll tell you about Trayvon Martin's mother speaking to a crowd in Fort Myers, last night's winning Eagles celebrate a long-awaited victory, and more. Today is Monday, February 5th, and this is the Morning Report. The mother of slain Trayvon Martin spoke to a gathering at the Dunbar Community School in Fort Myers on Friday. Sabrina Fulton lost her 17-year-old son Trayvon Martin nearly six years ago when he was shot and killed by a volunteer neighborhood watch member while visiting family in a gated community. The shooting drew national attention and was one of several deaths that helped give rise to the Black Lives Matter movement. Several women in the crowd have also lost children to violent crime. Dunbar, a predominantly black neighborhood in Fort Myers, has been beset by violent crimes over the years and ones that the Fort Myers Police Department has struggled with solving. A report by the Free Group in 2017 said Dunbar had over 100 unsolved homicides. Law enforcement has grappled with issues to help reduce the violence in those areas, saying that at this point prevention has to start at home. Fulton works with a foundation that shares her son's name committed to reducing gun violence and that a tactic to bridge a lot of gaps in neighborhoods has been outreach programs by ones not only concerned by citizens, but the police as well. She holds an annual peace talk and talk in Miami every February, usually after February 5th, which was her son's birthday. A crash between an Amtrak passenger train and a CSX freight train in South Carolina on Sunday killed two people and injured about 70 others. The train was heading from New York to Miami with about 139 on board with the lead engine derailed after coming in contact with the freight train. Federal investigators are trying to figure out why a switch was in the wrong position, which is what sent the Amtrak train into the freight train, but they already know what could have prevented the wreck that injured more than 100 passengers. A GPS based system called Positive Train Control, which knows the location of all trains and the positions of all switches in an area and can prevent the kind of human error that puts two trains on the same track. Regulators have demanded the implementation of Positive Train Control for decades, and the technology is now in place in the Northeast, but railroads that operate tracks used by Amtrak elsewhere in the U.S. have won repeated extensions from the government. The deadline for installing such equipment is now at the end of 2018. Amtrak has set up passenger information hotlines for those looking for information about how their travel may be impacted. Last night, Philadelphia Eagle fans celebrated their first NFL victory since 1960. The Eagles bested the long-reigning Patriots 41-33 in a riveting game that had fans on edge the entire time. The Patriots were 4.5-point favorites to beat the Eagles on Sunday. If they did win, they would have walked away with the franchise's sixth Super Bowl championship. The Patriots boasted a strong defense, but they couldn't stop the Eagles' journeyman quarterback Nick Foles, who was named the game's most valuable player player. Foles, who replaced injured starter Carson Wentz in the 14th week of the regular season, completed 28 of 43 passes for 373 yards and three touchdowns. Pink sang the Star Spangled Banner opener and Justin Timberlake headlined the Super Bowl halftime show and performed some of his hottest hits, including a tribute to Prince. The 52nd Super Bowl game was sweet revenge for the Eagles, who lost to Brady, coach Bill Belichick, and the Patriots 13 years ago in the 39th Super Super Bowl 24 to 21. And that was the morning report for today. I'm Bree Walling. The morning report airs Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching.